Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, today is uh, August 2nd. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, it's been about a little over two weeks since my last update. And um, I actually made a video two days ago, but uh, I've been trying to upload it, and it keep, YouTube keeps crashing on me. So uh, I decided to just make another one uh, up to date uh, for today. But uh, there you go. This is the Big Max pumpkin. You can see the, the secondary vines are, are growing pretty long here. Uh, I did find something, you know, I almost I almost lost my Big Max pumpkin. Let me show you what I mean. Let's come over here. And when I was watering the plant, uh, I saw that it, the stem where it comes out of the tire was really light, really, really yellow. And when I went to squeeze it down, it's completely squishy like it's soft there's no resistance to it so i dug around the roots and they were dead so yeah the <laughs> the roots i don't know what happened to me i just let it dry out too much in the heat but you know all the other pumpkin plants are fine but just here in this one the roots are dead what saved it was the fact that i had buried uh the vine pretty you know i buried the plant pretty much along the entire main vine to the tip so it's it's rooted along the entire main vine as well as every single secondary vine and like after i noticed that it was dead here i quickly buried every single vine secondary vine at every single node and uh try to encourage it to grow more roots uh, but this thing has still been putting up uh female flowers like crazy i think i've cut off like 10 or 12 of them and uh it's consistently putting them out you know here's another one uh but now you know now that i noticed this uh i'm gonna give it at least another 10 days so it can establish a good set of roots uh before i let a fruit set and just still plenty of time my 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 goal is to have it you know have a pumpkin by mid-october so we're just barely starting august and <laughs> i got time but uh that's the big max you see the fairy tale pumpkins they just exploded i mean they're completely covering this section of the yard uh and if you notice in my last video uh the main vine had been had been eaten at the tip uh i can't even get in there without stepping on something um but the secondary vine started to come out and there was a secondary a little tiny secondary vine at the end of the main vine that didn't get eaten well, that pretty much turned into the main uh, into the main vine. It kept growing and growing and growing, and you know it was over there, and now it's somewhere over here. But holy crap, this plant puts out so many female blossoms; it's unreal. You know, there's one right there. There's another one right there. On the other side, there's one right there. You know, it's putting out tertiary vines. I gotta cut those off. There's another female pumpkin there. There's another female there. Like I said, uh, I probably cut off 20 or 30 female blossoms on this on these two plants. Uh, it's been crazy how many baby pumpkins I've been seeing. And this one is a secondary vine from that one over there. It's snake uh, snaked its way along over here, and you see the baby pumpkin there. This one had a baby pumpkin there, but I, I cut it off because it was still too, too soon. Uh, there was another one there that I cut off as well, and two more that I cut off there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that female pumpkin over there. Let's see if I can get over there. Oh. You see, there's one there and one there, and. There's a tertiary vine with another bud, another female, another tertiary vine with another female. It's like, it's females galore. And the male flowers have finally started to open up. I mean, they've taken forever to open up. Um, but they're doing good. 
like I said, I've been checking the, the soil on the tires at the roots, and so far they've been, you know, they're they're good. Let's see if I can do a 180 here. I had the garlic here, but I got tired of taking care of it, and it was just using up too much water to water, you know, all of this and the tomatoes and the garlic, and say, you know what, forget it. I just I pulled it all up three months early, um, and I hung it up to dry. I'll show you guys in a minute, but I planted my brandy wine tomato here, and uh, I don't know, it's not looking so healthy. It's got dried up leaves and really bad leaf curl. And I know I didn't overwater it because the soil kept drying out, but I guess maybe that's what happened. The plant got stressed from being dried out. But uh, I got the garlic hanging right here. I mean, this is where it was at after only three months. Definitely nowhere near being done, but. No, it is what it is. Uh, this uh, got a mess over here. But look at all these secondary vines sprawling everywhere. Uh, I've been trying to manage them. I mean, I've I'll I'll, I'll let one grow and then four or five I'll I'll, I'll cut uh, I'll cut all of them and then another I'll let another one grow. But uh, this thing was back here like two days ago. And uh, yeah, I mean, this one was over there two days ago. See that female pumpkin. Uh, I've been burying the secondary vines as well on these. Well, pretty much all the pumpkins. Uh, I remember last year, they, the, berry, the one that was buried did the best. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing. But uh, here's the Jardale pumpkin. You can see how, how much it's grown. I mean, there's a secondary vine coming over there. And uh, you see the female pumpkin. And here's one that I just hand pollinated about five minutes ago. Uh, I put a bag over it last night uh, to keep the bees out because they're out here w much earlier than I am. So I covered it. I uh, came this morning and took the flower off, the male flower, pulled the petals off, and uh, used it like a brush to just brush the inside of the of the female flower and then tied it up to keep any more bees from getting in there and maybe cross-pollinating it with one of the other plants but uh, you can see the secondary vines here are going out too as well I mean they've got female pumpkins of their own uh, so the one over there I'll probably bury some of these secondary vines as well I mean I did it for a good distance along this vine but you see the roots coming out and then going into the soil uh, <laughs> it's been really hard to walk. I probably crushed about three or four secondary vines uh, by accident, but no harm to fall. I got plenty of vines. <laughs> so the Howden pumpkin, uh, it's kind of slowed down a little bit on the growth. So I think I'm going to let a pumpkin set uh, the next time one opens. But, you know, I got one getting ready to grow there. That's the, that's the main vine. Here's a secondary vine, which I've been burying as well. And then here's another secondary vine coming over here. There's another baby pumpkin. And it's a Jardale secondary vine. Uh, it's growing really fast. And you see the end over there, I cut it off because I accidentally stepped on it. And I feel like an idiot, considering I was taking care of it really well. But, uh, well, We'll see. Maybe it'll just feed nutrients to the other, to the rest of the pumpkins. And then we got the Connecticut field, which is all the way over here now. Uh, see the leaves. It's putting out secondaries. <clears throat> I got it buried. My goal is to have at least six leaf axial nodes buried. That way it'll take up more nutrients. Uh, but. It's exploded, but not. It's not at a length I want to let a pumpkin set yet. I'll probably let this one and the other Connecticut field grow till August, and then early September let the fruit set. Uh, this one, you see, it's barely up to here. I mean, it's way behind this one, even though it had a two-week head start, and that's I, I attribute that to the fact that 
Uh, it was overcrowding because it had the, the second second plant growing there next to it. And uh, I think they were just competing for space and stunted themselves. So yeah, uh, I won't be growing two pumpkins in one tire anymore. But uh, you see these little white spots? That's where new roots will come out. So if I uh, bury the vine, I'll get more roots to come out. What I did was I, uh, I dug a trench really, just a shallow trench and then laid the vine down and then just covered it with soil. Same thing with this secondary vine over here, it's the Howden. And, you know, that thing was over there about a week ago. It's made its way over here. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the pumpkins. Uh, I'll show you guys the tomatoes. So you see the black crimp tomato over there. See these tomatoes growing. Uh, some of them have a, a little hint of bl blossom and rot, but I've been staying on top of it trying to give it calcium. And uh, you know, they're looking pretty good, they're getting decent size. I gotta tie up the, the vines so that they don't fall down. This is my Cherokee purple, uh, you can see it's leaning to the right. I gotta get it tied up again. It's got some tomatoes growing over here. And then, <clears throat> oh, by the way, I had the other black cream tomato there, but uh, uh, it wasn't growing any tomatoes. It was just growing vines and leaves and none of the fruit were setting. All the flowers kept dropping off, so I said, screw it. I just ripped it out. Uh, I didn't want to keep taking care of it. This here is the other black cream. You can just, you know, it's been hard for me to gauge when to water it because uh, the leaves droop really bad. So I'm thinking that it needs water. And you know, this is in the morning. So so I, I water it and then I think it gets too much and then it gets leaf curl. Uh, but the tomatoes are growing. Uh, a few of them had blossom and rot. I cut them off. Now, here I have these two. Now here, I had my biggest black crim, the one that was, you know, was this tall up here. Uh, you saw it on my last video. I had a, had a bunch of tomatoes growing out already, but every single tomato got blossom and rot, and I couldn't save them. And no matter what I did, no matter what I tried, I made sure the soil was consistently moist. Uh, I gave it plenty of calcium, both organic. All right, so I, <clears throat> I gave it a shot of lime, um, nothing. So I just tore it out and I planted the, the sucker that I had uh, started to to grow in the plastic bottle. And now this one's got tomatoes growing. And um, I think the problem was that the, I started off with organic fertilizer and it takes uh, much longer for it to break down and become usable to the plant that the plant just didn't have the calcium available when it needed it for the fruit. So what I did was I did the same thing, but when I transplanted it, I gave it uh, a synthetic fertilizer. I gave it the Vigoro tomato fertilizer. And the same fertilizer that I gave to the Cherokee purples over there, which I'll show you. And hopefully it'll have calcium readily available as the organic calcium breaks down. Uh, the Cherokee purple, <clears throat> same thing I had right here. The organic, just didn't want to grow. Uh, I kept, I kept, uh, taking care of it kept trying nothing uh, all the tomatoes that, that grew were just had blossom and rot or were badly deformed I said you know what screw it I I had managed to do the same thing as I did with this one I took a, a clone I took a sucker made a clone out of it and uh, I got it grown in the container over there uh, this cherry tomato not looking so good uh, I got a lot of leaves starting to turn yellow and the fruit isn't really growing it's been like this for like two weeks that size it just won't grow I mean it's got plenty of little cherry tomatoes but just they don't want to grow I think it's been too hot or something I don't know uh, you see my kale my dinosaur kale my lacinato kale I'm uh, sorry the red Russian kale uh, it's been doing good Let's see. oh crap Look at all these holes Ah, cabbage worm. 
Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get him. Uh, that's the only one I see, but man, this looks like more than one was doing it. Uh, I don't see any more. I have been seeing the cabbage moths flying around. I've been killing them as I see them. Uh, I see them land on the kale and I know what they're doing so I'll run over here and smash them because I see them. Like I said I got way too many plants to keep track of. Uh, let me see if I can get that guy. No, I'll come back and go through these thoroughly. Let's see, come over here. You see my Cherokee purple tomatoes. Man, they're big. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They've been growing really slowly. I mean, compared to a pumpkin, the tomatoes take way longer to grow uh, for their size. This is the cherry tomato. I mean, I've had to seriously support this thing because the branches are really thick and weigh a lot so you, they've been kind of pulling off to the side you see these things loaded with flowers and it's you know starting to put out tomatoes finally it's very slow and then you got my indigo rose I don't know if you can see all the indigo those are all tomatoes uh, <laughs> but yeah I haven't had any get ripe yet I mean they're still growing really slow maybe because there's so much fruit that it's taking a lot longer to to ripen but wow that's got a lot of tomatoes and uh, again I know it gets so hot that the the leaves droop during the day which I know is can be normal but the soil gets gets dry even though sometimes I uh, I water every day um, so it's been a struggle trying to trying to estimate how much water to use. And uh, here's the, the Cherokee purple clone I mentioned, which I'm gonna transplant in the that planter I I just cut off the other one from. And uh, this one was a cherry a cherry tomato sucker that I cut off. So just in case the other ones don't make it. Uh, I'll have another one to grow. I mean, these things will pretty much grow all year long. You know, it stays warm here in Southern California. So the only thing that will take it down are disease. <laughs> but, uh, those are my two pepper plants over there. Uh, I think Bubba likes it, called it. He said it'd be two weeks before the yard gets covered in leaves. And there you go. The yard's covered in leaves. <laughs> but, uh, you talk about work man I'm out here two or three hours a day now uh, watering and cutting off secondary vines cutting off female buds um, tending to all the tomatoes checking for worms spraying neem oil yeah there's so many leaves to take care of now it's insane uh, so I have to come extra early every day now just so that I have enough time to get everything done and still go to work uh, but that's my update guys uh, Questions, comments, let me know. Uh, I'll try to make another video in a week, uh, but you know, this one took me a little over two weeks to make. Uh, I do them as I can. Uh, I see a lot of people uh, have a lot of progress. ARW Fergie, his pumpkins look really well. Tony Anthony's pumpkins are like holy crap. Uh, he's got pumpkins galore as well. Uh, I don't know how Bubba's pumpkins are doing. He had one Frankenstein like pumpkin. Uh, which is actually pretty cool uh, But yeah, I will make another video soon. All right. Take care guys